Hey, thanks for clicking on my video. If this video helps you, please consider liking this video and subscribing to my channel. It is greatly appreciated and it really helps. Let's get to the video. Hello everyone, in this video we're gonna talk about how we can use the TI-84 Plus CE graphing calculator to solve a system of equations. Now, we should still be able to do this manually. We need to know how to do this by using the method of graphing, substitution, and elimination. However, there is a way to do this on the calculator, so that's what we're gonna talk about in this video. But do what your teacher tells you to do in class. All right? Don't get out of using one of those three methods by doing this. Just know that this is there maybe just to check your work, okay? All right, so how do we get into this application? So we're gonna click on apps on our calculator um, and notice option number seven, it's PLYSMLT2. Well, the PLY stands for polynomial root finder, which we did in a separate video. If you wanna check that out, I'll link it in the cards right now. But the SMLT stands for simultaneous equation solver. So we wanna go down here to number seven and we're gonna hit enter. So like I said, option number one, we did a separate video on. So today we're gonna to talk about um, option number two, simultaneous equation solver. So we hit enter. Now, ask us a couple things. We're gonna set up what we wanna do. So our first three examples, we just have two equations and two unknowns or two variables. So we're gonna leave, or well, right now it's on three. So I'm gonna go over to two and I'm gonna hit enter. I'm gonna go down to two for unknowns and hit enter. Okay, now the rest of the options I'm gonna leave as is. And once we have that set up, we're gonna hit the graph button because that corresponds to this tab on the screen that says next. Now it brings up our two equations and it's just kind of like a blank template that we can fill in. So the reason why I have three options here, three examples is because when we're solving a system, you know, we could have one solution, we could have no solution, or we could have infinitely many. So I wanted to show you what that looks like on the calculator when you have one of those three or each of those three types of solutions. And then our last example is three uh, equations with three variables, more of an algebra two example um, that we'll get to at the end. Okay, so example number one is three X. So I'm gonna type in a three, hit enter. Now it's minus two Y. So I'm gonna change this to subtraction and then we have two Y and that's equal to negative five. When I hit enter, it automatically drops me down to my next X value for my other equation, which is four X plus five Y is equal to 47. So I hit enter, I have my two equations set up the way I want, and now the graph button corresponds to this tab that says solve. So I can go ahead and hit graph, and it gives me my solution. So this would be three, x is three, and y is seven. And for a system, we just write that as a coordinate, so this would be three comma seven. Okay, so now if I wanna go back and do this again, right, let's say I wanna redo or well now we're just going to move on to example number two so the the sysm tab corresponds to the zoom button so if i hit zoom it just takes me back to where i was and now i can type in my next example so for number two we have 4x plus 4y so 4x change this to plus four and then this is equal to negative eight okay now for my next one we had negative 2x minus and we'll change that to subtraction 2y and that's equal to four. Okay, so now we can hit solve. All right, and now look what it says. It says x equals negative two minus y, and y is equal to y, right? So essentially when it says y is equal to y, that's telling me there are infinitely many solutions. Okay, so I'm gonna write ims for number two. That's infinitely many solutions. That's what it's gonna look like when you use this app on your calculator. Okay, so let's hit zoom, and now let's go back and do example number three. So we've done a one solution, we've done an infinitely many, so this example must be a no solution, so let's see what the calculator tells us. So this is 9x, so 9x minus 15y is equal to 24. And 6x minus 10y is equal to negative 16, okay? So now we have it set up, we hit solve, and the calculator says no solution found. So in that case, we know there is no solution, okay? All right, now for my option number four, if I just hit zoom, it's gonna take me back to just two equations, two variables. So what I wanna do is actually hit the Y equals button, and that takes me to the main menu. Now, I'm, once again, I'm gonna click on option number two, but now I can change my equations to three and my unknowns to three. Okay. Once again, I'm gonna leave everything else as is, and I hit the graph button to go to the next screen, and now notice we have three equations, three variables, a lot more information to type in. So let's do this one, and this will be the last one of the video. So we have 6x plus 8y minus 6z is equal to 62, okay? 
Then we have 10x minus 12y minus 14z is equal to 14. And then we have 12x minus 8y plus 20z is equal to negative 68. Okay, so now check those out, make sure it's right. 6x plus 8y minus 6z equals 62. First one's good. 10x minus 12y minus 14z equals 14. Equation two is good. 12x minus 8y plus 20z equals negative 68. And equation three is good. So we hit solve and voila. So now we could write this as two comma four comma negative three. So x is two, y is four, and z is negative three. And that is how you can solve a system of equations using the simultaneous equation solver on the TI-84 Plus CE graphing calculator.